Hey guys, Quack and Quasar here, back again with another Mass Effect Andromeda video, and in this video I'm actually going to be talking about uh, the best equipment upgrade to use for the Batarian Vanguard. We've got the Batarian Vanguard here looking pretty damn awesome with the purple and with the blue. And I've already done a video talking about what, what weapons are best to use with this character. I, I listed, uh, I think, four weapons, four or five, I think it was four, uh, of the best weapons in Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh, to use when you're playing uh, with the uh, the Batarian Vanguard, but I thought I'd do a video for the equipment because obviously equipment is a big part of each character and it can you know make or break some of the characters. Now this character, just to give a bit of a backstory, he has an awful, awful shield rating. He's got one of the worst shield ratings in the game. I've leveled all of sh all of his uh, shield all the way up. I've got, bought all of the possible uh, shield upgrades and shield you know uh, skill points and everything, all, all perks. And it's only up to 263. And uh, that's actually the second worst in the game. The first worst is, or, or the worst um, shield rating in the game, is actually the Krogan Vanguards. But this guy's got the second worst shield in the game, and that's fully leveled up. That's as high as you can get it with the skill point. So obviously, I'm going to try and focus on some kind of uh, shield equipment. Now, we've got two choices out of the ones that I've got, and out of the, you know, the available... Um, available equipment options or uh, equipment upgrades. Now the two options we've got are Shield Enhancer which increases shields by 30% and Multicapacitor which increases shield regeneration delay reduction by 100%. What that means is uh, when your shield uh, is broken and destroyed your shield will start to regenerate 100% faster. There won't be as much of a delay, there'll be 100% less of a delay which is super awesome but also 30% extra shields that's also pretty damn awesome as well. Now you could really go with either of these, and at first, you know, at, you know, at first, first look, first sort of sight, you might go for the one that increases the shield by 30%, and that is good, and that's effective and everything. But the problem with that is, once they're broken, they're gone, and 30% of 30% uh, of this guy's shield, I can't remember, I think it was like 250 or something, 240. 30% of that is really not very much. Uh, you're still not going to end up with a high uh, shield rating. You're still going to have a pretty low shield rating. You're still going to have one of the worst shield ratings in the game. So it's really not that effective. High shields may be good. You know, 50% extra shields, maybe. If it was 50%, yeah, maybe. But 30%, it's really not that great. And it's really not going to take it up to a worthy or significant level. It's still going to be pretty low. And you're still going to find your shields breaking pretty damn quickly. Especially when you're, you know, under fire from the anointed. If you watch my other videos with this, with this guy with the Batarian Vanguard. You'll know I get hammered to hell by those goddamn anointed. If you're playing against the cat, those guys with the heavy machine guns. They destroy this character. Because they just burn through your shields so quickly. They've got a, a weapon that specializes in taking down your shields. And uh, the shields of multiplayer characters and they just burn through this guy's shield so quickly and it's unreal they really are the bane of the battalion vanguard in multiplayer it's, it's crazy how quickly uh, you can get taken down by one or even two of them two is <laughs> just don't try and fight two of them so 30 percent extra shields it's not going to do much it's really not going to help out against the anointed or any kind of enemy so go for the multi capacitor um, a faster regenerating shield is always going to be more useful in a ton of my videos, basically in all of my videos over the past month since I got the multi-capacitor upgrade. I have recommended to you guys that you should use this. This is the most effective thing to use and it's the best bet for really anything. Sometimes maybe if you've got like a, a character like a, I don't know, like a Krogan Gladiator for example, maybe go with the Mental Focuser which increases damage dealt by powers by 25%. Who's a little bit tougher, you know, the Krogan Gladiator, a little bit tougher, slightly higher shields than, you know, the Krogan Vanguard and stuff, I believe, uh, and can hold it, hold her own a little bit more in a fight. So maybe that one for, for that character, but really for this uh, and for most characters, multi capacitor is always the best, but it's so goddamn useful and it's so goddamn good. So go for that, a good second choice would be to uh, go with the shield enhancer. Don't try and focus on like mental, mental focus, which increases damage dealt by 25%, uh, or for powers, damage dealt by powers by 25%. That will seem cool at first, and in my first, I think, one or two videos of the Batarian Vanguard here on my channel, the first few videos that I did, I used that, and it was great and everything, and it made him seem powerful, but I was going down so much, I was burning through my med medigel so much, and that was on bronze and silver. Um, and I'm, I'm quite experienced in the game. I shouldn't. I wasn't making that many mistakes in the gameplay. I was just getting torn apart and destroyed because his, his shield, his shield rating is awful, and it's uh, really, really bad. And the thing is, like I said, he's the second worst shield rating in the game. 
the the worst is like I said the Krogan Vanguards, but the Krogan Vanguard actually has a lot of health, higher health than this guy, I think. So we can actually he's a Krogan, obviously, so we can take quite a beating after his shields go down. This guy's got high health too, but I don't think Krogan high. They're not sort of Krogan level of uh, high. So definitely go with the multi capacitor. That's very effective. A good second choice would be the shield enhancer. Uh, after that, obviously. Yeah. I haven't got all of the, sh the equipment upgrades. Uh, that one will be good. Adaptive War Amp is probably better than Mental Focuser simply because it increases damage dealt by biotic powers by 30%. This character's really only got biotic powers because you're going to be, you know, your, your, your two main powers. You've got Flat Cannon, but that's, uh, you're not really going to put much reliance on that. Go for the Adaptive War Amp, war amp if, you ha if you haven't got uh, the multi capacitor or the uh, the shield enhancer. Try not to go for the mental focuser over the uh, adaptive war amp. That's very effective. But yeah, like I said, prioritize the multi capacitor and you know second the shield enhancer. I'm going to show you a bit of gameplay, not a full match because I've already done tons of full matches with this character. Go check those out if you're curious about those. Um, I'm going to do a bit of a match and uh, try to show you how quickly your shield re will regenerate when using this upgrade. Alright guys, I've jumped into a uh, multiplayer match. I'm gonna try and take some damage. Let's see if we can just take a little bit of damage. All right now, I'm gonna now I'm gonna run. Keep an eye on my shields. Uh, if I go down right now, that's really gonna ruin the plan of this video. Keep an eye on the shields. Watch the shields. Hopefully they will uh, see. Look, look how quickly they regenerate. I wasn't using uh, this this uh, criminal red. They would not regenerate that quickly. I'll try and take a bit of damage too. Hopefully it's gonna be a much easier. Situation if I get you know, take a little bit of damage from uh, from bullets instead of right my shields have gone down right watch my shields I'm gonna try and avoid death right now see they, they regenerate really quickly they, they really did they regenerate super quickly and it's super useful for this character more useful for this character than really any other character out there it's, it, this character needs it more than any other character is what I'm saying it really does need a buff and an increase in uh, toughness so yeah go for that I think that one would work uh, very well this is the best equipment upgrade in the game to use for this character obviously let me know what you guys think uh, this has been kind of like a controversial uh, character some people love it some people hate it judging from other videos in the comments in my other videos so let me know what you guys think of the batarian vanguard and what uh, equipment you would use if you enjoyed the video leave a like it would really help me out and i would really appreciate it if you want to see any more of my videos definitely stick around and subscribe anyway thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next video